One of the common mistake that many people make in a job interview is not asking the questions when they are given a chance. For the same reason, I had given a list of questions to ask in the interview when you are given a chance. In this video, I am going to add five more questions in that list and these are strong questions. What is the meaning of strong things guys? You and interviewer both may feel uncomfortable but these questions will raise your chances of getting selected. I will tell you why with each of these questions. Let's start guys. First is who will not be a good fit for this role? Okay, so what you are asking to the recruiter? Tell me based on your experience who will not be a good fit for this role? So these kind of things they are not habituated of you know listening these questions. So he or she will also start thinking okay this guy is trying to figure out what is the skill set he does not have or this guy is trying to figure out what are the things which is outside of his or her comfort zone right. So at the moment you say tell me who will not be a good fit for this role. You are evaluating the JD properly and you are evaluating the match of your skill set with the JD. So interviewer is also comfortable in taking a call that okay this guy is asking a varied question and more you know better thing is you know what it takes to be successful on that job. So a win-win situation here. Ask this question who is, who is not going to be fit, of, fit for this role. Okay. Next question how many people have been promoted in this role. So not many people will be asking these kind of questions right. So if I am hired today then um, how many people in my job level, how many people in this team, how many people in your unit, you know what is the promotion cycle or how many people are getting promoted. So if you ask these questions then interviewer will feel that okay this guy has a growth mindset. This guy is somebody who is trying to know uh, you know how the growth happens in my organization and this guy is you know asking the valid question trying to understand how he can move up the ladder. What it takes to move up the ladder. So you are trying to understand the organization culture you are trying to understand more of the growth story. So ask this question guys what is the process of promotion or how people get promoted in your organization or how many people got promoted in last one year six months like that okay. The third question and very very important question guys mo most of the people don't pay much attention to this you can ask straight away okay not in a very rude way ask in a polite way hey I would, I would like to know why this hiring is happening okay. It is pretty important question guys. So there are two three reasons why hiring will happen. Either one of the key member has left and they are looking for a replacement or they are expanding their team or they are getting new businesses or they are trying to do something new which they have never done. So they are hiring people with a different skill set. Any of these reasons right you must know in advance why the hiring is happening. What will happen is Suppose if somebody is leaving the organization right so there will be a full process of KT. So you can ask the follow up question what is the KT plan you know uh, how much time do you think will be needed for the KT is there any draft plan for the KT all these things is a kind of follow up question if somebody is leaving okay. If company is investing in a new business or let's say expanding or trying something new you can ask follow up questions based on that. So one very good question to ask is. Uh, why are you hiring or what is the objective of hiring ok. Again uh, this is a strong question and um, every time you should not ask that if you feel that you are having a enough understanding of what is happening from the previous discussion no need to ask this but keep that in your list in your bucket ok. You can ask this as well. Next question I want to tell you uh, many times a recruiter will ask you what you have done and what is your plan moving forward. So one common question recruiters will ask is. Uh, where do you see yourself in next five years right. So that is one common question. So me and you should ask to the recruiter what is the roadmap for next six months to one year. Now this is a pretty strong question and very very important. What is your roadmap for next six months to one year? What is that you are planning to do? What is that your org is planning to do? Which areas you are investing? Which areas you are expanding? That way you will have understanding of whether that is a good place for you or not a good place for you. You need to be comfortable right you need to take that call based on all these answers. And one more thing I want to add here guys uh, you can ask to the recruiter obviously you will have people who will be in the same team where, where you are supposed to work right. So you can ask to people that hey can you tell me one instance or two instances where you have been told to uh, do something outside of your GD. Now this is a very very uh, you know wide question if you think of outside of your GD means. Uh, 
let us say working outside of your office hours ok or let us say I am a data scientist is it expected from me sometime to work on um, you know data engineering roles data engineering aspects is it expected from me sometime to work on some kind of client presentation some kind of client demo is it expected from me to work on let us say junior team mentoring or let us say um, you know onboarding new people training them you know bringing them up to the speed all these things may not be a part of your GD ok. So, what you are asking to the recruiter is uh, can you tell me a uh, few scenarios or few uh, times when people were doing something other than their GD or they are told to do something on top of their what is their day to day job. So, they might give you some knowledge on yeah ok uh, you know there was lot of work so we did work on the weekend. So, you know that ok weekend work culture sometimes can be there and they tell you that uh, you know we are a small team so we do not have a dedicated training program. So, whenever a fresher joins one of us will uh, bring the fresher up to the speed. So, you know that ok these guys train freshers by themselves. So, that will come to you as well ok. All these are practical points I am trying to give you guys ok. So, all these things that I am telling you is kind of extracting information from people on the ground. When HR talks to you it is a different story. When people who work on the ground talk to you it is a you know on the ground story. So, from all these 5 questions we are trying to extract what happens on the ground and once you have the offer you can take your call you want to join you do not want to join positives negatives you can compare ok. So, just you know have these 5 questions in your bucket in addition to the first you know I think around 10 questions I gave and please remember guys whenever you are going for an interview do not make a mistake of not asking any question ok. Ask questions that can be related to your team, your work, the organization, the growth plan, the strategy whatever it is, but ask at least 2 to 3 questions do not ask many questions also because normally people at senior position will take more time to answer your question. For example, if you say what is your growth plan for next 6 months they may take like 10 minutes to explain that ok you want to respect that time also. So, do not ask like 10 questions have these 15 20 questions with you ask 2 3 4 whenever time permits or whenever needed, but never go without asking anything ok. So, I hope you like this video guys see you all in the next video please go ahead and press the subscribe button if you have not done yet and the bell icon. I will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care.